Good day, good people. Good morning, everybody, here on this beautiful Saturday morning here in real life. <laughs> we are here to do a first look live here on this new map called Carpathian Countryside by Mr. Hector for Farming Simulator 22. And I'm here on PlayStation 5. So welcome, everybody, to my first look live here on this new map. I was going to do one of the other two maps, but I decided not to. I decided to do this one because our friend Bruce said it was a great map and I should take a look at it. So here we are. We're going to take a look at this map. This map is a very large install but there is a lot to it biggie buds welcome my friend how are you doing thanks for the coffee i could use that i also could use some donuts i don't have any <laughs> i had some rice checks cereal before i went live and uh, i really really need to mow my yard <laughs> But it rained pretty bad, so it's pretty wet. So I decided I'd go live here for a little bit. And then I need to get outside and mow the yard before I go over to my niece's graduation reception. I'm doing all right, I guess. I'm doing pretty good, Biggie Buds. Just a little tired because I've been up since my wife went to work. And she got up at 5 and I couldn't get back to sleep. So, I actually contemplate going live a couple hours ago, but I was like, oh, maybe I should go back to bed. And then I decided, nah, maybe I should start washing some laundry. So, I've washed almost three loads of laundry already, which will make the wife happy. And uh, just been sitting here kind of twiddling my thumbs, deciding if I was going to record or go live, and then decided, you know what, I'm going to go live, because I went outside to check the, check the yard, and the grass is still pretty wet, so, um, yeah. We are here, um, going to take a look at this great map by Mr. Hector for Farming Simulator 22 here on PlayStation 5. So welcome in, everybody. We are here on Carpathian Countryside. And uh, going to look around, play around a little bit. Yeah, uh, appears to be a good-looking map. So this is where you spawn in at when you hop into the map. So as we can look around here, you can see already that it appears that there is a lot of nice detail. Now, I do have uh, precision farming turned on, just so maybe we can maybe see some other things potentially. But anyway, yeah. So here in the PDA, let's go to the PDA. Here is our PDA. Um pretty looks like pretty large some pretty large fields <laughs> like this one up here field nine that looks pretty big which is actually field 11 1.4 million dollars in value you get this little piece up here 58 for 56,000 and 34 down here for 160,000. Some forestry area for 221,000. Charlie boy, welcome, my friend. And you start, you start in a new farmer mode. We are in new farmer mode with all of this land. Plot six here, which is a very large farmyard. Towboat fish, welcome, my friend a very large farmyard right here and then you get field four and five three and 19 and then there is a number of things on your farmyard here lots of storage and cows and pigs and horses and then over here we have a sawmill and carpentry and um, a tailor shop down there and a supermarket and then up here we have uh, we have a train Zylini 
here looks like our vehicle shop now that's a different location than most you seem to always see uh, map makers putting their store kind of in this general area mostly uh, kind of in the middle so having it up here in the right hand corner that's kind of different from what I've usually saw and then you got your farm supplies trader there and we got animal dealer and transport company a fuel station um, debris crusher uh, what else is there you know let me click on that lime station railroad silo grain uh, railroad silo grain container trader because you can use the platinum DLC on the map uh, rent a train uh, railroad silo large then down here we have biogas plant um, electric charging station and biomethane station let's see what this property this property where the biogas plant is oh man is um ooh, maybe we buy that uh, differently um yeah dirt farmer welcome my friend what do we got down here we got jenny's old stones farm oh man uh, one of the other farms clear down in the corner spinnery and zelini then we've got a small gas station a sugar mill man we can stop and get donuts at a lot of gas stations on here a uh, bakery a uh, grain mill a ranch and a dairy okay so there's supposed to be three farms I thought there's supposed to be three farms this must be the other one down here possibly this area and then maybe the other one is right here I don't know but anyway we'll figure it out <laughs> or somebody will help us figure it out but anyway yeah so your properties uh, like this one here 659,000 wow that's expensive 150,000 but I don't think these fields are very small uh, 413,000 some more forestry 300,000 so yeah lots of uh, variation now precision farming soil types look like they're working okay um, what else do we got let's see what silage what's silage selling for here um, 479 dollars that's not too bad biogas plant Ooh, we got some equipment that is not in very good condition like as low as uh, 22 <laughs> percent that thirty thousand dollars to fix it holy cow let's see um, then we have uh, cow barn 2 cow barn 1 pig barn horse barn all in new farmer mode that's all on your main farm contracts we got contracts they're paying pretty decent let's go ahead and borrow items on one of these contracts just so we know that it's working we'll do the harvesting one and borrow those items there okay and then we have grain storage and shredder which is a production point on your farm I believe and uh, there's a hundred collectibles on the map it's the toy collectibles um the other neat thing that i noticed is it looks like all these production areas and according to the description for the map all these production areas everybody have a little forklift on them and then up here at the store you have a telehandler to use so that's kind of neat 
if you don't want to do auto loading and stuff like that especially and then you got your own tow vehicle already up here at the store if you actually need help like uh, when dirt farmer likes to go in the ditch to get a drink <laughs> anyway uh, yeah let's go across here to the farm and check out this farm man this is a lot of detail here holy cow no wonder this is a large install that building right there just need a bit of help sometime yeah that building right there looks a lot like uh, kind of the style of building it uh, at um, at uh, oh man I can't think of the name of it where they do the horse races in Grand Island Nebraska <laughs> It kind of looks like that kind of building right there. All right, now let's go under here. Oh, nice open shed. We got a pickup truck and a horse trailer. Look at all these decorations. Holy cow, can we pick up a lot of this stuff? Oh, yeah, you could have all kinds of role play in here. Nice. What up? Hey, there's a big old harvester in there. Well, those doors open. Man, I love that sound. There's some great sound right there. Some more decorations. Wow, I love this detail. Oh, let's get... Uh, Look at all this right here. You can probably pick up all this, huh? Oh, goodness sakes. Hey, I think Farm Sim Snowy has a flat tire somewhere. We better go help him. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. You can pick up all this stuff. I oh, can't open that door. Let's see, can we open that door? Well, I can't seem to open that door. I might need my help menu on, just in case we missing something not standing in the right place, you know. I could shut that off, because I don't really need to save this at any point right now. That would help that from being annoying. And then, um, help window. Turn that on. Let's see, open door, there we go. Wow, that opens pretty fast. Look at all this decoration. Hey, there's some moo moo cows on the picture. Some pigs. Ooh, wow. What else we got here? Uh, employee of the month. Hey! That looks like Looney the Farm Guy a little bit. <laughs> Maybe it is Looney the Farm Guy. Uh, that picture there, that kind of looks like uh, Sosanovka a little bit right there. What we got here? Ooh, nice John Deere picture there. Hey, Rabbit Rob, I found a picture for your new bedroom. Right there. Look at these. That's pretty cool. Hey, there's even one that's coming to say hi to Rabbit Rob right there. Coming right at us. Let's go. Can we open these doors? Which one's killing? Ooh, hey. This must be a... Oh, this looks like a little restaurant type thing. Man, all the detail in here. Can we even pick up... Oh, can't. There's a little bit of collision there. I was going to see if we could pick up the plate and stuff. <laughs> but I can't... Oh, can I pick up this coffee cup? Oh, no, I can't really. Can't seem to do that. Eric the Crazy Viking, welcome, my friend. 
Let's pop in here. Oh, wow. Hey, David, welcome. How are you doing, my friend? I oh, can't pick up any of this stuff. Man, this would be a lot of fun if you could pick up this stuff in here. All this detail. I I had to be curious before I went live, everybody. And I actually got on the Farming Simulator um, website or whatever on the internet. And I had to look back in FS19 because I could have swore I remember this modder's name. And this Mr. Hector had a few mods in FS19 as well, but didn't have a map. I'm doing pretty good, Eric. I'm a little tired, but I've been awake since my wife woke up at 5 to go to work. <laughs> I didn't sleep the best last night, and I need to mow my yard, but it's too wet outside from all the rain yesterday yet, so from the storms and everything. It'd be pretty cool if you could pick up some of this stuff in this kitchen, but this is pretty cool. We go out this door then? Yeah, we can. Uh, can we go in here? Oh, that goes back outside. Okay. Let's go up the stairs then. Did we? Can we go in this door? No. Turn on flood lighting. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. All the lights turn on, too. <laughs> hey, there's a nice. How about this door? Can we open this? Nope, can't open that door. Hey, it's Cobbler Farms picking up some sugar beets, it looks like, right there. If you all watched his video series on Calmston Farm, he actually used that thing that's in-game and picked up sugar beets in a video. And you don't ever see anybody use that thing in-game. So it was something different to see in a video. Oh, we can open this door. Oh, hey, this is our sleeping quarters right here. Some different pictures of people and stuff right there. And, hey, I got a laptop. Oh, I can't pick it up, though. That looked like me on my first day trying to operate a forklift at the dealership. Like, what the heck does this lever do? Because <laughs> that's about how I felt. <laughs> I was so lost. Okay, a lot different than driving a cop car where you just got to turn left and right, you know, and back up. And can we open that door? I don't think we can open that door. We can turn on the floodlight, though. Oh, man. So we've got, we've got, uh, we have a couple of different forklifts at work, actually. We got one that's an electric one which is a pain in the rear um it's one of those ones you stand in it but it's got a swivel tire on it and i don't like it because yeah you'd want to get out of the way or i'd probably run you over because <laughs> i just not very good at driving it and then we got a forklift that's like that one in the picture up there in that bedroom and then we got two bigger ones an old an old old forklift someday maybe i can get some pictures of them i'll share them in discord but we've got two big ones a smaller one and then an electric one oh, wow what's it oh hey this must be the horse barn right here this is pretty cool. All this detail. Can't pick up. Well, we can pick up that one. This is cool. 
This is cool right here. Let's, uh, we got a hundred thousand dollars for right now. Where is our dialogue box? Oh, right there, I bet. Let's see. They probably come out here into this little fenced in yard then. Can we open any of. Ooh, that door goes back outside there. This door goes back outside there. Open dialogue. 16 horses. Okay, let's buy a couple and uh, see where they all kind of go at. We can buy more than a couple. We'll buy six of them. We don't necessarily need to worry about the feed right now. There we go. Oh, then they're all out here. Oh, wow, it goes clear over here. Okay. Well, that's kind of a big area then. I thought it was only to the edge of the barn. I didn't pay attention when I first came out. Listen. Oh, and those doors just stay open all the time, it looks like. Okay, we better shut that door. We'll shut those doors there, and then... What names did I get? Champ, Twister, Tornado, Nitro, Ruby, and Lady. <laughs> I at least says there's some pretty decent names there. Not too corny. There we go. Another big open shed. Right? Lights and all this stuff. Wow. Man, that's pretty cool. Jeez, a whole bunch of storage. Oh, this would be a great place for, like, storing some extra seed and fertilizer and stuff, it looks like. Or feed. Open this shed. Holy cow. These are actually pretty big, too. Lots of room. Oh, this must be, the like, the main entrance, maybe. Ooh, I do like how that opens like that. Here's where our dog is. What's their dog's name? Dusty. <laughs> Funny thing about that, everybody. Our first family dog that we had that we actually ended up getting rid of. Um... When we lived in a different community, uh, my daughter was only about two years old, I think. And my stepson, the oldest, would have been, oh my goodness, what would he have been? Like eight, maybe? Um, that was the name of our dog. <laughs> oh, Dusty. <laughs> Rusty's dog, Dusty, yep. That was the name of our first family dog, Dusty. And now we got Murphy, which the kids have grown up. The kids were a lot older then when we got Murphy, so they were not as scared of it type deal. Chris Warnington, welcome, my friend. How is Chris doing today? Thanks for stopping by the live stream. Oh, this looks like our fuel point right here. Silo is empty, so we could purchase fuel, put that in there, and take it out right here. I like that that right there nice nice big area some trees not really in the way but there's still decoration hey here's my mower oh object is too heavy you can't pick up a mower <laughs> goodness we can pick up a push mower in real life but we can't pick up this push mower <laughs> That's okay. Well, it's silage bunkers, I'm going to guess. T 
turn on shed lights. Ooh, there's shed lights. I'm good. Should be home in about three hours. Ooh, nice. So this must just be a shed then. Right there. Nice open shed. Oh, then we got... Uh, Huh, slurry tanks. They got numbers on them. This is where we take our slurry out, it looks like. Put our slurry in. Number one and number three. Oh, I see. That barn up there has got a number on it with a one. So that slurry tank must go with that cow barn or whatever and then oh this one's got a number three on it that must go with that then well, that's pretty cool man so here is kind of what it looks like everybody from overhead too there is a lot of space on here on this farm this is the main farmyard right here what we're looking at and it is quite large and I, I heard somebody, I don't remember if it was when I was uh, lurking in the end of uh, Bruce's stream before I said hello that, um, or where it was uh, late last night um, when I got home from a couple of graduation receptions I thought about going live but it was already 11 o'clock and I was pretty sleepy after having a couple of adult beverages <laughs> So I went to bed at 11 o'clock. <laughs> but everything on here, on this farmyard, I believe, sells. So you can have one big empty space. But myself, I really like this farmyard in these buildings. It's really nice to see a modder take this much work and time and dedication away from things and make this much detail into a modded animal pin specified for the map ah it's just really cool to see that and even this right here this feeding system right here this detail that is just cool I could see Chad liking this a lot Chad from CBW Farms. So, our pig barn here holds 300 pigs. Well, that is pretty cool. And there's a lot. There appears to be a pretty decent uh, amount of room right here. I'm sure there possibly could be some collision up there on the roof, but you could still be able to probably tip left or right hand side as well and then you got oh this must be your straw point right here I'm gonna guess and then your feed point is down here but a drive through let's put some good Chris loading up some peas and getting ready for another day Let's go ahead and buy some pigs and just see where they end up. I got money here, so let's buy some. Buy some of these Arnold pigs right here, what I call it. When we were little on Grandpa's farm, we named a pig Arnold. Let's buy some of these. And he followed us around the farmyard. Let's see where they all go by six of them. Oh, there's one right there laying in laying in the feed area. The rest of them are out there in the little yard. This must be uh, maybe this is where you put feed at. Huh. Or there's two different feed locations maybe. Look at them sounds good I love the detail on how they painted the textures out in here we got a little bit of what looks like dirt and mud and then got some grass and it's just really that's really cool 
Can we open this door? Oh yeah, we can open that door. You can go in there that direction too then. Cool. Those animal sheds do look really nice. Oh yeah, dirt farmer, they do. You know, um, this uh, map is like 800 and some megabytes to install. So I was at 73% in my mod hub and it only took me to 84, I think, or 85. So it didn't take me over 90. <laughs> percent I thought it would <laughs> but at least it only took me up another 10 percent about <sighs> so yeah but I got I got quite a few maps installed right now all right now ooh, water water tower right there I bet that's where we get some water yeah can we open that door oh no i just thought i'd see if we could open that door another wood pile and then we got slurry tank two i'm gonna guess that's what this is here so that probably goes with oh that barn up there number two barn right there All these doors open on. Ooh, that. Ooh, that opens right there. That's pretty cool. Mod space is always a struggle for us console players. Yeah, right, Dirt Farmer? Wow, I love these buildings. These animal pin buildings are awesome because I love how it all works. So far. I mean, I haven't done anything else with it yet, but. All this detail. Everything around here. I mean, look at this. This. Well, we can't grab the wheelbarrow, but I mean, just all this detail in here. A little, uh, brush for the cows to rub their neck <laughs> and their face on it looks like there's several of them in here all right now we got to buy some cows and see where they all end up too we better shut the doors though Shut that door at least. Oh, shut that door. Leave the alleyway open. Shut these doors. Okay, so this must be our straw point right there on that one. I, I kind of skipped over that barn right there. But I do love this train on this farmyard where you have kind of a little downhill here where this cow barn seems to be a little bit lower. down in here oh here's our uh, dialogue oops there it is okay let's buy some Holsteins for this one we'll just buy six head all right well they're all right there looks like let's go in here there's the straw point for this one right there we walked by. Oh yeah, so they even come inside then too. It's walking down here. He's saying, Rusty, give me some feed. Hurry up. Oh, now, they do come all the way out. So you're going to want to make sure you keep the gates shut then. So they don't run around. But that is pretty cool. 
Where's our dialogue for this one, then? Right here. Ooh, this one's kind of joined. This one looks a little different. Cobble Gaming, welcome, my friend. Let's buy some more of those. Let's see where these are, then. Oh, I don't see any in this barn. Where do they end up? Oh, here's one of them right here. Okay. And then out here. Holy cow. So can we go into that joined building then, too? Can we get in? That would be so cool if we could get in there. <laughs> that would be open gate. Oh, that's all these gates right here even open. Holy cow, that'd be... Can't open that one, though. Darn it. Maybe we can get in that building from this side, though. Just all the detail on here. Farm dog Murphy over here snoring behind me. You can hear him. And I got my headphones on. Let's see, those doors don't open. Does this door open? Oh man, that would be so cool. That would be really cool if you could walk into this part right here. Doesn't seem that you can. This must be... Uh, I'm not sure what... Th this be like the dairy part of it? Where you get milk out, maybe? Oh, then we got silage bunkers. Some icon over here. What's this? Hide roof. Huh. So you can have a covered or not covered uh, silage bunker? That is pretty cool. <laughs> well, later, all dinner time here. Hope you all have a great Saturday. Well, thanks, Eric, for stopping in the live stream. I appreciate that. Ooh, I really like that right there. You could cover your silage bunkers or not cover them. Oh, man. And then this detail of this little calf yard right here. Too bad they weren't real calves out here. Even if we just had a couple of static calves walking around. Little ones, that'd be cool. Can we get in this little building? No, it doesn't seem. If not too much trouble, can I get an invite to your Discord? Well, I thought you were in my Discord. <laughs> Maybe not. Should have it there. That should work. It's supposed to be the Infinity uh, Discord link. Not the one that times out on you. After so many days. Um, another one of these uh, silage bunkers. So, man, you got a lot of silage bunkers. Right there. Another open shed right here. Ooh, this must be uh, bale and pallet storage, probably, I'm going to guess. Right there. Man, there's all kinds of room right here, too, where you could really add in another shed right here if you wanted to or something. There just seems to be 
a lot of other open room here on this huge farmyard. <laughs> huge farmyard. Wow, I love all of that detail there. That's got to be the silo area and then maybe that production area that's supposed to be on this farm. Oh, another way into this shed right there. Ooh, lots of storage here. Rabid Rob, welcome, my friend. You missed it. You gotta go back and watch like the first ten minutes, Rabid Rob. <laughs> oh my goodness, Rabid Rob, gifting the five memberships again. Well, thanks, Rabid Rob. <laughs> Appreciate that support, Rabbit Rob. Ed was gifted a membership. Well, welcome, Ed, to the coffee club, my friend. That's what I call it. I don't have. I don't have any. I need to talk to Dirt Farmer, or is who I need to probably talk to. <laughs> I need to figure out the custom emoji thing, but the biggest problem also with some of that stuff trying to make things better for you members is my my desktop has uh, been affected by a virus and I can't do anything on it. So my laptop doesn't have a lot of applications on it for or software for like microsoft word and all that stuff on it really so i need to yeah i need to be doing some work <laughs> but i do have i do have a members only um i don't know how it works on console but I'm going to do a members series where uh, the members will see the series first. Uh, it's going to be a recorded series. Uh, so this is, uh, looks like, silo, dump point maybe right here. And then take out right here. Grain storage and shredder. Okay. Pig food, recipe one. Pig food, recipe two. And the silo is empty. Austin Benninger, welcome, my friend. I'm right with you, Rusty. I have two emojis now, but need to take time to make more. Yeah, I don't even know how I'm not. You're doing better than me, Rabbit Rob. Uh... It's so one thing why I, I was uh, hesitant on memberships, but I had people wanting them, so I went for it because I, I don't want to not do it. But then again, um, it will improve. It's just going to take some time. Uh, and also, work has been tremendously busy. <laughs> work has been tremendously busy, which I can only imagine most of you understand as it is planting season I've been studying AI a ton so you could get some nice custom emojis made by the something wow some nice big sheds Doing pretty good, Austin. Thanks for asking, my friend. Tons of storage on here, everybody. Now, I'd be really curious. I mean, I don't know how much room exactly. John C. Pepper just became a sponsor. Well, John C. was gifted a membership by our friend Rabbit Rob as well, so... Welcome, John, to the coffee club, my friend. Look at that. True. 
Made by the AI bot. Okay, Ed, I see that now. I'm liking it, Rabbit Rob. There is so much detail. I was just going to tell Rusty the image software I use, but I don't have the computer in the field. <laughs> Turn on the monitor in front of you, dirt farmer. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> I'll be lurking more, Rusty Dry. Okay, towboat. Sounds good, my friend. Can we go up the ladder? Man, I was hoping we could maybe climb the ladder. Can't climb the ladder. Hey, this must be kind of a workshop right here. That. A set of ramps. Another big. Oh, more storage in that room. Holy cow. Lots of storage in here. Chimneys. There's room for everything on here. God, can you imagine how many little John Deere's I could fit in this room? <laughs> I've been good, Rob. Just enjoying time at home and taking care of my dad till he gets on his feet. Yeah, hope your dad's doing pretty good there, Tobo. Is it the junkyard? <laughs> Look at this. Just all kinds of room. Another little storage room right where... That's where the JDs all belong. <laughs> Many. Oh, hey, this door opens over here, too. Ooh. Man, all of this. We can pick up all that, some of that stuff on the shelf right here. Nice workshop area. Wow. Oh, wow. Hope he gets better. Yeah, right, Rabbit Rob? Map. Hey, there's another map of uh, the area. Maybe. Some kind of map right there kind of distorted a little bit but it's still pretty cool lots of shelving storage up here you know I really haven't paid attention but I haven't seen a collectible yet <laughs> unless somebody else has <laughs> but that's not always a bad thing shop area here oh I got a uh, uncover inspection pit what oh this reminds me of an old gas station where we used to live <laughs> oh what's that uh, there we go there we go let's open this pit you can go down into here then and he can change your oil and stuff like that with a little role play I love the updates and making maps better but four of my five video series I've just got map updates <laughs> yeah rabbit Rob that's why I kind of hesitate anymore I wait a little bit which but then again I hate waiting Looks like a really nice map. May need to give it a wee go. J-Bot, my friend, welcome in, buddy. Welcome in to the coffee house. No, I mean the barn house. <laughs> I still love the game, so I don't mind. Yeah, right, Rabbit Rob? Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm actually hoping to maybe live stream again later tonight too, everybody. I don't know when because we have my niece's graduation reception, but I'm considering it. We'll just see what the time time brings. All right, so I oh we didn't go into this area. And then that's it for the farmyard. Here is a little workshop right here. Open vehicles options. Oh, let's uh, let's get our truck right here quick. You can make some donut emojis and some. Oh, yeah, I know. I have some ideas, Rabbit Rob. I do. <laughs> I do have some ideas. Can we get up on that? I like that rant. I do too. Let's just test out the ramp. Okay, customize. Well, we can even repair it. It needs repaired, so we'll repair it. That works. Let's uh, change it. We'll change the color here. Ooh, that works too. That's always good. Can you jump in it? Need to hit that ramp at 80. <laughs> I like how it's, uh, it's even, it's even, how do you want to say it? It's, uh, width. It's width of the ramp is, is very, done very well. So, in, for instance, the pickup fit up on there, no problem. But now, what I'd really like to see... What I'd really like to see is if this will fit up there. Oh man, that's a little close to that building. Jump it with the monster truck. <laughs> Holy cow, this modder actually, this modder did a really good job, I would say, with uh, getting really close with, uh, how do you say that, like, uh, um, scaling. I mean, it just, uh, just needed to be a little bit wider. Because the harvester is just on the rail, but otherwise, that is very well done. I'm betting anything you jump with would clip that silo down the way. <laughs> you ain't going to get much speed. There ain't a lot of room here to do that. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's just leave that right there. These probably light up at night, I bet. Are these sirens? No, they look like they're lights. I bet they light up at night. Oh, and here's part of our silo area. We did go through that, I guess. But I didn't come over here. Goham would say, hold my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I love Dr. Pepper. Here's a dump point. Man, another part of the grain storage shredder and silo system all right here. I love how this was built. This is how I would like to build the ethanol plant on Grandpa's farm whenever I get that done now. Again. <laughs> Oh, then we got another storage shed here, too. Holy cow. Oh, all the tractors are in here. Hey, there's a good one there. Tons of space. A zeter. Got a big old zeter. 
Nice open shed. I love that. Uh, I really like this uh, drive through open shed right here. I do like that one. I like them all. I really love the animal barns so far. Here's kind of another little just a glimpse of how big this farmyard is, everybody. It's huge. And from my understanding, as we see here, if we highlight... Uh, okay, not that. We must need to go this way. Yep, there we go. You can, you can um, sell everything on here. Sell everything on this big yard and then build your own. But I kind of, I really like the design of this one. I do. But it's really big. But you would have a nice empty area here if you sold it all. Alright, let's get out of this farm area. Let's take the tr pickup truck, I think. And see where we need to go see the rest of this map I haven't seen yet there's lots of room in here you could add some more sheds or a multi fruit silo or a fermenting silo or just all kinds of room now, what's my best bet here? Uh, where are we? We're right there. Okay, so let's go on up this way. And kind of go down around the map this direction. Or that's what I'll try to do then. So, let's turn here. Go up here. Holy cow, okay, I'm going to shut that off there so you don't have that blocking view. Really uh, curious, did the map maker include that ramp in the decorations or in the store somewhere? Ooh, Ed, uh, good question. I didn't cover any of the, um, let's see, sheds. Um, all of the sheds from this map are uh, in the build mode. Um, and then I got the precision farming mod on, so it's got those other two buildings at the end. But all the other buildings from the build mode, even this one. Um, oh, no, not that one. That's not the one I thought it was. Let's go into silos here. Ooh, you even got all the silos. You got the slurry. And then you got the big silo complex in the build mode. And then in silo extensions, you got this little liquid manure tank from the map. And containers, we have um, we have the fuel tank. We have a liquid fertilizer right there. And then our water tower. And tools. We, ooh, we do. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> we have the scale house. We gotta get off that field that's, so here's the scale house. And then we have this little workshop ramp. <laughs> so it is in the build mode. And we got farmhouses. We got the Carpathian um, farmhouse right there. That is all a part of the farmhouse. All of this. So a big... Uh, you call that little? <laughs> 
And uh, what else we got in productions and factories? Nothing in factories. Cell points, nothing in there. The ones you see are the mods I have turned on. Nothing in greenhouses. Orchards, no. Uh, generators, no. Animals. So, you do get the opportunity to use the cow barns. So, there is that cow barn right there. Holds 200 cows. And then we have this uh, cow barn. Holds 300 cows. Yo, who is this? Rusty Money, my friend. Or Dusty Money. Or Rusty Dusty. Or I, I don't know. Yeah, I think my name's Rusty Money. Last time I checked. Anyway, and then we got uh, horses. Carpathian. Horse barn right there. And then we got the pig barn. The prices really aren't that bad either. 197000 right here for 300 pigs. And it's a modded one, you know. It's not too bad, I guess. We got sheep right here. Here's the sheep barn. Kobe Gaming, welcome, my friend. And then we got chickens. And I think that is it. Others, yep, that's it. Decorations. Anything in decorations from the map? Oh, yeah. There is all kinds of decorations here, everybody, from the map. All kinds of fencing. <laughs> Chad from CBW Farms. We got some more fence for you on special. From $80 to... Um, oh my goodness. Clear up to 2200 Best price. Best place. Right here. <laughs> we got lights. We even got lights from the map. Uh, on here. Let's see. Others. The only decorative other building we have is the farm gatehouse right here. And I'm not on level ground, so some of those decorations aren't placing very good in that, this uh, show, but... You can at least get the idea of what's available. Textures. Uh, painting. We got animal mud, asphalt, concrete, concrete, dirt. Forest ground, forest ground, grass, dry grass, grass, gravel, 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 mossy grass, gravel, plates, plates, sand, wet sand, rock, granite, dirt, dirt. So a lot of different textures and a couple of different variations of, of each. Uh, trees, do we have any uh, trees? No. Plants? Ooh, we have uh, modded plants, everybody. <laughs> All kinds of modded plants. Or their custom, anyway, I'm going to guess. But, yeah, there we go. Kobe Gaming became a sponsor. Kobe Gaming was another gifted membership by a great friend, Rabbit Rob. So, welcome, Kobe Gaming. Let's go this direction now. The fields on here are really kind of big. Really kind of big on here. Let's see, where are we at? That should be the end of the map right there. I love how it looks like the map continues on right there. The outside of the, the periphery, if you will, 
really looks nice. Doesn't look like it just abruptly ends. Let's go this direction. Check things out over here. Ooh, railroad tracks. Better slow down. And even that, even that corner right there, how they're coming in from kind of a curve going out of the map there. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. That was magic. And we've got a really nice, um, really nice store area. Oh, now let's take this over here in this field for a second since we're right here. And we'll do this that I always like to do in a first look live too. And um, let's go up here. And let's reset that. And see where it ends up. Okay, reset point is up here at the store. And we know that our store is also... Uh, working for contracts as we borrowed the items on the contract right there and everybody there's a little bit of sound effects on this map because if I hover over here by these flags I don't know if you can hear that but those flags are blown in the wind <laughs> that's kind of cool as some more modders that are making maps are kind of adding in some little features like that. And it's not like it's overbearingly loud, but you can definitely tell it's a flag blowing in the wind. You can hear it. We got some nice tractor displays here. And we find a collectible by chance even though we know what the collectible is going to be worth which is a thousand dollars if you read the description but nicely detailed store area up here we got some pedestrian tra traffic splines it looks like up here at the store area another forklift right there decoration Hodge, welcome, my friend. How are you doing, Hodge? Thanks for stopping by the live stream. Man, lots of decoration. Can we get in these buildings? I didn't. I didn't think we probably could, but why not try? We might be able to get in the store area. No, can't open that can't open that there we go how about can we go into this building into this store can't get in there it doesn't seem to be uh, giving me a open the shop menu okay yep okay just can't go inside but that's okay Nice right there. I didn't see any wooden toys yet. Oh, there's our telehandler. Okay, I see that now. Some more nice decorations here. This must be, uh, maybe where you can. This is something on the map right here. Not sure what. One of the cell points or something. What is this up here? Farm Supplies Trader. Let's see. Farm Supplies Trader. Oh, okay. We can buy, like, seeds and stuff up there, it looks like, maybe. 
or sell it there. Yeah, so like it says, selling $1,920 here for solid fertilizer at the store. And here is our telehandler you get to use up here at the store. They give you a set of pallet forks. Lots of decorations up here. All right, let's get in our tr a truck. Let's take this truck. I want to take this truck. Let's go see some more of the map in this truck. Man, those flags are really blowing. You can hear that when you start hovering by them. Some little uh, bus stops or taxi stops, I'm going to guess. Ravenport, always worth a visit. Uh, I wasn't a fan of Ravenport myself. Toys, astray. New homes wanted. <laughs> I haven't seen a toy yet, but that's a pretty cool little poster. Man, there is tons of decorations on this map. Which is which is nice to see. I'm off in no man's land now. Laugh out loud, terrible service. Alright, towboat. Sounds good. Even though this is a large install, probably because of all the decorations and stuff, it's really nice to see the decorations being added to maps like this. It just brings the map a little bit more to life. Yeah, it's no fun when the install is quite large, but then again, do you want to have a map that has a little bit more feel to it, or do you want a map that has uh, just simplicity? But, you know, simplicity compared to decorations is not bad either. Ooh, there's a collectible right there. Looks like he's trying to get out of that pen, that poor old sheep. He's a little bit too little, though. Holy cow. How am I going to even get in there? Hopefully we can open these gates. There we go. $1,000. Uh-oh. I don't want to be trapped in an animal yard. Let's get out of there. Ooh, can we buy manure? We can buy manure. I'm gonna guess right up here. Potentially. Here's our animal dialogue box for the animal dealer right there. Nice area up here. Another sell point area right here. I'm gonna guess for our grass products, hay straw, and stuff like that. This is a uh, lime station, I'm gonna maybe guess. Let's see, what is that? Ooh, I'm not sure what that is, because that doesn't even show up on the map. Maybe you can buy animal feed? Because that doesn't even show up right there. Hmm. Transport yard. Tons of, tons of decoration. 
Now, this modder, like I was saying earlier, this modder made some mods in FS19, everybody. This modder made a pallet for eggs that made this map and made a, a seed bag, I think it was, and a, a cow stable. So this came a long ways from making what mods he made in FS19 to make this map. He's got a couple other mods in FS22 besides this map as well. One of them is the... One of them, I believe, is the RTK John Deere uh, station thing. For precision farming. Nice area there. Oh, I got to sneeze. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go this direction. What's down here? Goodness. Uh, another gas station right there. Oh, thanks, Tilbo. Yeah, that all came out of nowhere. <laughs> but that's what usually happens. <laughs> Let's see if we can get... Whoa. Hey there, buddy. Let's see if we can get fuel. Ah, uh, can we get fuel to work? A refuel. Okay, that works. Whew. Hope I'm done sneezing now. Holy cow. Let's go this way then. Now we'll go down into this area. This looks like kind of like a grain elevator area. Man, all of it. Detail. <laughs> the detail around all these building areas and stuff. Just. Man, the decorations and everything everywhere. Well placed. Really makes it look really nice. Lime station right there. And the stone crusher right here to the right of the truck. Nice little rail yard by our grain elevator area. You can get on the back side over there too. Oh, now look at this. This is kind of cool. I wonder if that animates then. That is kind of cool right here. Uh, whoa, sorry about that camera collision with that floodlight, but dump your product in here. And then I wonder if this conveyor does turn on and then loads the train right here. That's kind of neat. Right there. Huh. Looks like it's like sugar beets, I'm going to guess. Like sugar beets and maybe potatoes. Um, that could just be decorative um, in regards to what crop is there, but... Silo large volume. Silo large volume. Um, 
Okay, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not seeing silo large volume. In the prices, anyway. Not sure what that is, but that's pretty cool. Whatever you do get to sell here, maybe. Then you can pull on out of here this way. We'll go down around. There's another collectible. There's another collectible right there, but we'll just leave it. Let's go down this way. Let's see where we're going now. Going down to this other farm down here, I think, is what that's down there. Ooh, there's the biogas plant area. I don't know if I should have went there first. Let's see, how's that PDA? I should probably go there first. Let's turn around. Go check that out. And then we can come back down around here. Wow, some nice big silage bunkers right here. Three nice big silage bunkers. And then... What is this? Is this potentially another workshop? If you buy the property, maybe? How much is this biogas plant? I bet it's over a million. Um, where's my little thing at? Here's a dump point right there. A tree right over here with a little round about thing where's the uh, where's the buy thing for the is it right here there it is 1.5 million quite spendy this is a pretty big area, though. I wonder how much all this sells. I'm not going to sell it, but I wonder how much all this does sell. Well, there's the biogas plant area. Now let's get on out of that. And... Whoa. Let's go back this direction then. Wow, it must be some more people live. Lost quite a bit of the crowd that was in here eating coffee and drinking or drinking coffee and eating donuts with everybody. <laughs> Let's go. That's a nice farming simulator seasons pass. Um, banner thing right there. I'm going to shut that thing back off.
spin right. Another forklift. There's our forklift to get to use. Now, one of our forklifts at work it does kind of look like this one, but it doesn't got a cab on it like that. Enclosed cab. And I'm not sure it's even that brand. I can't remember what brand of forklift it is. Some decent room in there. Let's go this way. That whoa. Let's not run into everything. All right. This must be the pig farm then. Potentially. Now we probably got to buy this. So what I'm gonna do is sell some of this stuff. So, let's sell some of the equipment. And this is all of the starting equipment here in New Farm Remote on this map, everybody. There's tons of it. Some of it you got to repair, but we're going to go ahead and sell some of this to get some money. I don't know how much money we really need, but... Okay, can't buy that farm area. Or do you just automatically get to buy the pigs for it? That's weird. Can't buy this. Trying to buy it. Maybe you can't. Maybe I'm not in the right spot either, though. Enter vehicle. Okay, yep. Yeah. Maybe you can only own one farm on the map. I doubt that. Doubt that. This is different. What's right here? Can I buy any of that? I can't buy any of this area down here for some reason. It doesn't appear that you can buy any of that. Jenny's Old Stones Farm. Yeah, okay. I liked it. I, I was there. Visit. Yeah. Huh. Well, anyway. See, there's a, a feed bunk right here, too. So... I wonder if uh, something's, I don't know, it could be decorative, who knows, but I'm kind of curious as if this isn't supposed to be like one of the sheep pastures. Maybe not, though. Let's keep looking. Let's keep going. 
Ooh, what was... Can I get in that building? Can we get in this building right here? <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, somebody broke down. Somebody broke down. There we go. Neat little addition there. I just find that odd that that can't buy that area for whatever reason. I don't know. All right, let's go on. Ron Green, that should be a JD in there. <laughs> I'll have it, Rob. I bet that's. I don't know. I don't know, I guess, but. That would be pretty cool if that was like the sheep pasture right there in that barn area. Let's see now. We are down across the bottom side of the map. So we go all the way down across here towards what looks like another building area. These fields are really good size on this map. I like how these roads, too, these roads have some different textures in them. Making it look more like a gravel road with some mud puddles and stuff like that. Okay, that's uh, some of the forest area there, I bet. Should probably go there. The more I see on this map, I want to jump in on it. Bruce did a fantastic job, too, but seeing you both play on it and your reaction. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, now that is, that other one was probably decorative. That's too bad it was decorative oh here we go now we probably buy this one um, where am I at I'm right here let's buy this 507,000 I gotta sell more equipment <laughs> let's sell some more Bruce's gaming welcome my friend get some more equipment so we got tons of equipment here so we can sell we're probably gonna need it for oh I just sold my truck I don't know. I got the truck from the contract, don't I? Never mind. Now, let's buy this right here. Buy. Okay, now, let's open that gate. Ooh, it's, it's alright. We're in the way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I should have known before I opened that gate. Now let's shut that off. Look at this. Nice. Uh, I'm going to guess this is uh, oh, a bale shelter right here. What? I, I like it, Bruce. I really do like it. <laughs> I actually like how the farms are laid out and I love I really love the animal pins these modded animal pins I really like I just like the amount of detail in these pins let's 
let's get some sheep in here. See where they all kind of roam around at. Okay, so they're roaming right here, and then they're roaming out here in the big old yard, clear over here, up the hill a little bit, into the trees even. Nice, very nice. So here's the other little farm, one of them anyway. Nice long, ooh, there's a workshop area there, I see. There's our house. And here's the chickens then. Let's go down there. Let's go down here to the chicken one then. Can we go in it? Oh, wow, we can even go in this. Okay, that's probably where the eggs uh, spawn. Now we got chickens in here. Right there. The chicken purchases on the back side from the other animal bin. Let's buy some. Holds 500 chickens. Holy cow. <laughs> Just buy six for now. 500 chickens. That's pretty nice. I didn't see how many sheep it, this held. I didn't pay attention. How many sheep did that, this one hold? 200. That's pretty good. Let's get in our truck and drive down a little bit closer to the other end of this farmyard here. But there's your house over here. That's kind of your house. Farmer Klein gave this five star rating, which is a perfect score on his scale. I would too, Bruce. I would too. Um, one thing I'll say too, Bruce, is that I was curious about the modder name, so I had to look in FS19, and this modder name had a couple other mods in FS19, so his modding abilities have came a long way. He had one of the egg pallets in 19, and a seed bag, and I can't remember what the other things were. So, really great work. This is kind of your town area. Here's another one of those gas stations. I wonder if we can get gas at this one, too. Yeah, plus some map. I'm going to head out. Have a good... All right, tow belt. So we can get gas at this one, then, too. Another collectible over there on a pallet of wooden pallets. Took out that sign, that's okay. Here's another one of the cell point areas it looks like. Right here. Had a map in 17. Then FS19. What map in FS19? I didn't I couldn't get a map to show up with his name in FS19. one is this sugar mill 120,000 okay sugar mill I love the decoration around everything yeah I just really like the decorations around everything even though it's a large install, it really makes it feel homey. Uh, 
All right, now let's go this direction here. Let's see. This town's kind of built on a hill a little bit. kind of down in the corner of the hill almost we're gonna cut through some of these yards right here I mean just all these <laughs> each one of these houses kind of has a little field or a little garden <laughs> that's kind of neat little thing trio gaming welcome my friend I'm gonna go through here. I wanna go down this way. I should just go back on the road. We'll drive down through there. I'm gonna drive up this one. I don't think I can go any further. Oh yeah, I guess there is another road potentially back behind these too. And the landscaping, these are all built, you know, like on a hillside right here. Landscaping is done really well. What's uh, oh, it must be a church or something up there. Let's go this way for a minute. There's a deer stand. A deer stand right there. A good place for it. Ooh, what's this say? Oh, I can't read that anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't know what it says. Yeah, he did, Bruce. He did. Exactly. I agree. Oh, we even got little signs. Let's see, where are we at here? Okay, that's going up through there then, too. Okay, well, I don't want to do that. I wanted to go up by that church for a minute just to see it. It says, get off my lawn. <laughs> get off. drive where we want to drive. Ah, oh, neat little church area up here. Huh. Hey, there's a collectible right there, everybody. Let's get out of here now. And what direction do I want to go? We need to go back on out of here and uh, this way. This way. Uh, 
Wow, we're getting up to another little area of... I'm going to go through this field. That... Is that the... That must be another one of the farms right there, then. at now how much is this one gonna be hopefully not very much oh that's not where I'm at I'm up here holy cow six hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars <laughs> wow it's a lot of money <laughs> oh Okay, so I'm going to have to do this then so we can actually see what's all there, probably. Uh, let's go down here. And go to... Um, oh, come on. Menu, come on, work with me here. Oh, I don't got my government sign on. I thought I turned it on. Oh, dummy me. Let's go here then. I got to visit here. I got to sell these animals then or it won't let me s purchase uh, the other farm. Right? Sold animals. 30. Okay. Now we gotta sell these sheep too then. Hopefully this will give me enough money, so that'll give me enough money. Uh, buy this right here. I always place on before I start, so I know I have money. <laughs> I know you do. There we go. Here's the other farm, then. Farmhouse kind of area right there. Huh. Just a detail. Oh, here's the workshop area, just like the other farm. The other farm we were just at had a little workshop like this that I didn't uh, look at. Silo. Silo, er, more storage right there. Silage bunkers, I'm gonna guess. Bale storage. Uh, then we got animal pens, another pig barn. 300 pigs. And then a second pig barn, another 300 pigs. So 600 pigs. Wow. Nice. Two slurry. Uh, slurry tanks. Uh, water tower up here in the corner. 
corner. Nice. Each one of these farmyards, though, could really be, uh, you know, probably built to however you want it to be built, because most everything, from what I heard, is, is cells. We got some more productions this way. We're about around the map. This tree monies, all the detail everywhere. <laughs> There's another production over here somewhere, I think. A little park area with a soccer field right there. That's kind of different. Never seen a, one like that. Where is that production point over here? It looks like there's one. You gotta go this way, maybe, and then this way. Not hit the green bug. really nice residential area build a lot going on in it oh here's one of the uh, other production areas right here how much does this one cost probably standard I bet but 115,000 for the dairy. And there's another one of your pallet forks, or, or pallet forks. Another one of your forklifts back here. There still should be another one right here, I think. Where am I? Another one I missed. Oh, right there, maybe. What's that? What's over here? Something right here. Oh, this must be... Oh, another horse barn? Huh. And you got your horse training yard right here. This is kind of a neat little area right here. Lots of decoration in it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. How many horses? 16, I bet. Or what is this, actually? Is this another animal dealer? Is this a second animal dealer, Bruce? Are you still here? It is, I think. A second animal dealer. Yeah, it's a second animal dealer on the map. That's kind of cool. Alright, now, let's go this way. I'm not sure where we're going here. Where am I going? Odd. To, yeah, it's kind of odd to have two. Kind of in the bit of the forest area here. The roads are kind of windy. Lots of deer stands. Looks like some nice logging trees, though. We want to 
take this way. On up that direction there. It would be kind of cool to see what a person could build in this forest, though. Kind of a neat little design to it. A nice little off-grid shed over here. Can we get up this one? We can get up this one. No surprises in here, though. On that decent view. I like the map edge, too. It looks like it keeps going. In some parts, especially where you got the traffic with the vehicles and all that. Like, I can see it easily. Oop, sorry. We're at the edge of the map, but it sure don't look like it. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's you can tell it's the edge, but it's well done. This go. This probably goes up for a part of the forest here too. Yeah, I'll go up this direction here for a minute. Take this on up. Let's see if there's anything hidden up here at all. Oh, we should be going up towards the... I think the sawmill is the only thing we haven't been to. I think that's what's up here somewhere. Yeah, right there. So here we go. We're on one of the sides of the sawmill. Enter here. Oh yeah, then they got the carpentry over here too. I like how this is all built. This is kind of cool. Neatly decorated to make it look like a big sawmill area. Sell your wood there. I bet. Nicely done wood chips there behind us with the truck that's full of them. But if you sell wood here, where is your icon to punch it to sell the wood? Maybe it is on the other side. No, it can't get around. I oh, just looking for your little punch button to sell wood right here. But I don't see it. loud. The old carpentry building is loud. Sell wood. Okay. Sell wood is over here. All the way over here. When you put it over there. Huh. How much is the sawmill? 125,000. Yeah, that's the loudest one so far, I think, Bruce, that I really noticed. When, oh, man, there goes the saw again. 
<laughs> you can hear the saw. The saw turns on when you get close to it. What I really liked, uh, Bruce, was the sound of those flags blowing up at the store. It wasn't, like, overbearing, but it was just neat how they made that sound because it really does sound like flags blowing in the wind. <laughs> Uh, now I'm going this direction here. Back towards the farm. I think that's pretty much the map then. We have made a tour around the map. The only thing I haven't really done is test water and test plowing, which I usually like to do. Sounds like someone running a board through a planer. Yeah, right? Yeah, that too there, Bruce. Yep. Yeah, I would encourage everyone to give this map a look. I wasn't going to originally, but then Bruce told me I should. So that's the reason I did, because I wasn't gonna. I'm glad I did, because it's really nice. Alright, then we don't, I don't, I haven't tested, like, water, if we can get free water or anything, but I'm sure you can probably get water free. Seems like most maps anymore, the water's free. Water tower on farm, yeah. Is a water tower on farm free then? Let's pull in here. Get on out. We just have a harvester and all that. Let's just go to this and cancel that. Collect. Well, didn't test that. Okay. it um, then their animals oh no not that we don't need nothing really big then uh, plows just get There we go. Now let's go over to the farm quick. Has someone made a rain collection system in game? That would be cool. That is a good idea, Ed. That is a really good idea. I don't know if I'm going to get across those tracks right here, but I'm going to try. Save us a little time. <laughs> you know, water collection... I think I heard something is coming soon. Oh, really? That's kind of cool.
That'd be kind of cool, you know, if it rained and all that, if that would help with the fertilization and all that. You wouldn't have to put down near as much or something like that, especially if you're, like, using precision farming, which I've really enjoyed on Black River. Let's uh, fill this up. Oh, no, the water costs money on the farm, everybody. <laughs> That's kind of dumb. That's just my opinion, but I guess, you know, you got to put a well in your farm, so it does actually cost money, but could imagine it as gutters. All right, now let's see our fields. Which fields? What fields do I own here? fields right here so three and four outside of the farm three and four should be this way maybe Oh yeah, and I gotta turn right down here then, and go back up that way. Do I want to turn there? That's probably where I wanted to turn. Now let's just drive up here. We're on, uh, there's one of our fields right here. Okay, this is 16. Yeah, I got crop destruction on, I know. But we're just doing a first look live anyway. I just want to check something out. That's a... Is that a road there, then? That's a road. But is that a purchasable... Let's see... Okay, but that field we don't own there. Damn teenagers running through fields. <laughs> Let's go this way. We got to get on the other side of town then. Oh, wow. Some little tight turns in town, but... Here we go. Can we go through those trees? Ooh, is that a stream right here? How deep is this? Oh, it is kind of a stream right here. Sounds like water running, but there ain't much water. Let's see if I can get stuck. Most land can be purchased except for where town is. Okay. Here we go. So we obviously know we own this field because we're hurting it as we drive. But what I want to know is... Okay, so we don't own the roads, it looks like. Don't think we can buy the roads. Just can we buy the periphery? No, don't look like it. So let's go down with this. Uh, let's hit create fields and see if we can... Okay, so we can go through the road... Okay, that's good to know. The only problem with that is, is I don't know if we can do any. I 
if he can deal, if he then can do any, uh, if you wanted to fix that again, could you paint that back in? Oh yeah, you can. You don't have to own the road. Huh, look at that. You don't have to own the road. How about any road? Oh, okay. So you got to own the property adjacent to on both sides of the road then. Okay. All right. So you got to own the property on both sides of the road and then you can do anything you want with the road. Bruce, what about the plot in southeast? Rusty was not able to buy that pig farm area. Pig farm? I was able to buy. What? No, uh, this other one that looks like a farm. Uh, let me get out of there. Down here, Bruce. Uh, way down here. In this corner where the spinnery the Xylini and the Jenny's Old Stone Farm. Right down here. Can't buy this one. I mean, it's showing you an icon here for slurry pickup, and I would assume that you could maybe get pigs in here, but maybe this is just decorative. Oh no, that's not viable. Yeah. It would be really cool if he added in pigs right here, though. Pigs, and then uh, I thought it would be cool if this was sheep back in here. Because <laughs> there's a feed bunk right there. I think it's a buy point. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well that's that. Okay, well... That's that. All right, then. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. That I can think of. I need to really get to mowing my yard, everybody, because it's going to take me two hours, and i got to go to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's for my niece's graduation just a few blocks from my house but i gotta get to mowing my yard if you enjoyed this first look live here with myself rusty money on on this carpathian countryside please drop me a tasty one on that like button which is better known by myself is uh cop battery and by you all people is delicious don't it don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section and please share a box of donuts with all our friends and family by sharing the videos and live streams from the channel but for myself rusty money we'll see you all on the flip side everybody have a good one i noticed that was thinking he forgot to finish the area or made it yeah right bruce i agree yeah i gotta go get on the yard work here too yeah so thanks ed thanks bruce uh thanks rabid rob for the gifted memberships uh thanks dirt farmer and um who else was here bruce is gaming and <laughs> eric the crazy viking and uh, jbot gaming and everybody else i missed thank you all for watching tobo fish um, what else do we got going on here? Who else can I see this? David Trio. Um, Bruce, Kobe Gaming, Andrew, Yos, Chris Warrington. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody. We will see y'all later. Have a good one.